So we'll be doing an hands-on approach on this uh, learning of the MIPS and exploring exploring hardware. Uh, to start with, let's start with the program writing, right? Write a simple program which print, print the answer is 5. Okay, I could have started with an standard like print hello world application which every programming language kind of starts with that printf hello world uh, i just wanted to make something little different which actually you need to print some uh, some string and some numeric values as well uh, uh, that has a little different uh, thing to do in at the assembly level we'll see in in in, in few moments uh, but let's look at the objective okay so first of all, get familiar with the system calls. We'll see what, what are they. Run and step through the program. Observe the data and text memory content. Observe register value changes. Use a macro to wrap following common codes. Like remember, we, we have learned what is a macro, like dot macro and macro and how, how we define and use it in the last uh, lecture. So we'll be try to write our macro to wrap the common codes to print integer float double string etc and read integer float double string etc so that's our objective now system call about that spin provides a small set of operating system like calls okay so for manipulating your standard input output uh, file operations uh, memory allocations and quitting from the program okay so on processor side, especially on the last point, quitting from the program, you might wonder what is that? Like this is kind of come very natural in the high level programming. At the processor level, there is nothing called quit. Processor is running always, like whenever you, from the time you turn on the processor, it's, it just runs, right? Keeps on running and fetching the next instruction from the memory and doing so. There is no quitting in that environment. Uh, but operating system provides that uh, in our Windows or, or Linux, whatever operating system, it has an option to quit from a program means your application program tournament terminates and, and then the operating system takes over, uh, takes over the processor. For us, as in the SPIM simulation, that also gives us a small set like an a definitive termination from my program so that we can go on carry on on, on other experiment uh, so that's that's the quitting from the program standard input output file operations memory allocations is a more uh, more standard functions that we are used to in the high level programming we'll also have it here mostly we'll be concentrating on the standard input output we won't be doing much or at all if we do anything uh, or I think we won't be doing anything with the file operations or dynamic memory allocation, stuff like that. Most important, standard input output and quitting from the program. Okay, They are done through something called system call in the assembly, MIPS assembly programming. Now let's take an example <coughs> of that first, our very first program, write a code name exp1.asm. Okay, you can open up uh, the IDE, a Mars IDE, and start typing in, typing this this specific statement uh, that that uh, shown in the screen. I'll explain each component there. Okay, uh, so first thing, dot data. This is a directive which tells me this is I'm going to define the data segment of my program, and under the data segment, I am defining a memory location containing a string called the answer is equal that is my string and which is using a dot ascii z uh, def uh, directive so this dot ascii z has been explained in my last lecture so we are we are kind of laying down this string in the memory and calling or naming the start of the string as str start of the string in the memory that location we are calling it str or in a in another sense, we can say okay, str is my name, a string name is a str. <coughs> then we have a text. So this is my real program. So text part contains the instruction that will create ultimately some some of your uh, your machine code in the in the after assembly is done. 
Okay, so after dot txt, we start writing our code. So here, what we are doing is first of all we are using mainly pseudo instruction. Remember, we also discussed what is a pseudo instruction in my last lecture. So they are the instruction provided by assembler, uh, but is expanded into multiple basic uh, instruction that is supported by the processor. So processor MIPS does not have any instruction called LA or LI. Okay, but assembler provides it. Let's use it. So LI stands for load immediate means I am trying to load some value like here in this example the value 4 onto a variable dollar v0. Now this variable uh, we call it a variable right now because we don't know anything about registers and stuff like that. Once we know it we will call it this is a register. Okay, For time being all these dollar things you are seeing here let us call it a variable and it has a very fixed variable names. Okay. So it is a dollar v0. We are loading the value 4 onto dollar v0. And LA stands for address, load address, LA, load address. So it is saying that load the address of this label, given label str, str is a label, right? Load that address into a variable called dollar a0. And then you do a syscall. So what syscall does, it first check a variable named dollar v0 and if the v0 content is 4, it knows it has to do something with, to do with the print a string, print a string, okay. And the start address of the string is at dollar a0 variable. So it looks at the v0 system call, see okay this is 4, this is to print string. So then it looks for the a0 to for the start address of the string and start printing uh, character by character from that location. So it, it picks up this byte uh, of ASCII code for T and H and E etc etc. It prints the whole string till it hits a null character, till it hits a null character. Remember dot, dot ASCII Z automatically appends a null character into this string. All right. And next one is let us say li v01 so that again load immediate I am immediately I am loading a value of 1 into variable dollar v0 and I am loading a value again li5 into dollar a0 variable and calling a syscall and this is for print an integer. So syscall again check the v0 variable now its value is 1. So 1 stands for printing an integer. So then this if the syscall says v0 is 1 then it look for a value inside uh, a0 variable and prints that value. Okay? Prints that value. So syscall does not really care whether it is an LA or LI. It basically depends on the v0 the code inside the v0 value inside the v0 and depending on that it treats the a0 value either as an address of the string or a f integer value to print all right and last example but not the least how to quit how to exit from the program so we load the v0 with a value 10 and do a syscall so if syscall check this value upon execution checks this value of v0 and if it sees it's a 10 it stops doing anything it just stops there all right so that's the, our first program we need to write it in ide and we'll we'll explore further onto the hardware side now the question is how do i know what's the code for print string what's the code for printing what is the code for print float and so on and so forth right so in the book, you will see there is a table which actually determine uh, this uh, determine this uh, uh, this uh, operation codes and what are the arguments, what are the variable in into place, and so on and so forth. I'll I'll show you that. This okay. So one other thing. Okay, this is the processor operation to invoke operating system routine. So this basically I explain that what it does. This call 
as a as a result so this call looks at a v0 and value and depending on that it may look at the a0 or may not and then it again value depending on the value of v0 it treats either the a0 value as an address for a string or or a value to print as an integer and so on and so forth also another point to note here there is you see there is no semicolon as a as a statement termination for this uh, this uh, assembler uh, and this uh, simulator new line is a statement termination okay new line there is no semicolon new line is a statement termination and also pound is is a comment string anything anything after pound is treated as a comment i would strongly suggest to practice commenting your code because in assembly language it is very uh, very easy to get lost okay especially when you are we will be writing bigger program uh, like maybe even after two days you will probably get lost what you have yourself written there okay so it's very much important to document your code please please make that practice and make that a habit all right now this is the table i was talking about uh, like this is in the book uh, uh i forget what page i think uh, okay it's in appendix a 9.1 uh so we will be more interesting in print int print string read int exit print char read char okay these are the 1 2 3, 5 6 six different functions so system call code we have given in this table so that has to go into your v0 dollar v0 variable and then it talks about print int okay a0 variable has to be integer print string a0 has to be a string means the address start address of the string now for the read int you expect your whatever you type in on the keyboard it will that value will appear in variable v0 okay that is that is the function so you syscall you put a v0 a code 5 then syscall then after the syscall is done you will see your whatever value you typed in as an integer it will be appear in your v0 same register same file uh, same variable and then exit we talked about that print character so then a0 it basically picks up from the a0 that ascii code of that character it prints that character and read character similarly uh, it's in the v0 but it returns in the a0 uh, register okay so only this this six is important for this class.